so you want to go ahead and add green to any image or video that you video or image you have in blender and and add grain you win grain you want to put some grain on it hey guys i'm about to buy kai and today we're back again once once again that was smooth that was the smoothest intro we've ever done um i'm kai and today we're back once again taking a look at how to add some grain to any image or video or any scene that you have in blender Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the top left and change this to the compositor. And I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, you can see this is like the post-processing effects and all the things we can do here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to render this first out. We're going to hit render image. There we go. And now you can see it's rendered out the image, which looks really cool, obviously, but it could use some grain. So let's go ahead and close that. Now let's hit backdrop and then spread these apart a little bit. Hit shift A and let's search for a viewer node. Put that right underneath the composite node and switch it from composite to viewer. There we go. Now you can see we we can see the the the, the image in the background, which looks really good, obviously. Um, so there you go. You have you have that, which is cool. You can you can hit V to zoom out, and you can hit Alt V to zoom in. So there you go. Alt V and V to zoom in and out like that, which looks pretty cool. Now with that done, let's go ahead and hit Shift A, and we're going to search for two different things. We're going to search for a texture node. Right there, boom, put that there. And the last thing we're searching for is a shift A. Once again, hit shift and A to add a mix node right there and plug that in between the render layers and the viewer. Now we're gonna plug the texture into the bottom of the mix texture there. And we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, create a new texture. So let's go ahead and go to the texture tab, which is the last tab way down here in the bottom down here. Hit new. And we're gonna just call this um, grain. There you go. And then we can change this from image, image or movie to nothing other than noise. Nice. With that done, we're going to go ahead and ch uh, change this little box to, say, grain, because we're going to select that one now. So you can see that it has added that grain texture over top of our image. Now we need to go ahead and change this from mix to multiply. And you can see now we've added the grain over top of our image, but it's way too strong. So the way you can fix that is just change the factor and drag that way down. And as you can see, if we were to zoom in here, oh, zoom in here, sorry. You can see we have a lot of grain here on the uh, left hand side of the image there you can see that if you if you uh if you zoom in there which just looks really really good so you can add more you can add way more you can add less you can make it so it's completely smooth again or you can go ahead and make it so that there's a nice amount of grain which is about right there you can change this from multiply to overlay or to soft light these look really good too i would i would go for overlay that's what i usually do um you can also do um uh, you can also do, uh, you can do linear light if you're if you're looking for this kind of um uh, super contrasty um, grain like this where it only really affects the darker areas you can see here so if I zoom out you can see it really only affects the darker areas as the the whiter areas don't really have much grain so it is a pretty cool effect as long as you use it in small doses so something like point um, point zero seventeen point uh, point twenty point uh, zero twenty five something like that but um but yeah so for a regular kind of grain, you definitely want to go with overlay or soft light and just crank that to about maybe point, uh, point 0.4. And it looks really, really, really good. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, how to add grain to your scene. Super quick like. And I hope you enjoyed it. it is, it's super simple. Really, it's really simple. Make sure um, you hook the composite node back up or when you render it, it'll render a solid black. So if you're rendering it to solid black, that's why, because you didn't hook the uh, composite node back up. So make sure you do that as well. So then when you render it, you can see that it'll render and it has no grain. And then boom, there you go. Nice grain in there, which looks, looks really, really good. So hope you ladies and gentlemen learned something new today. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.